what's up guys back again with another video um, last episode we worked with command arguments and stuff like that which is pretty cool but this time we're going to expand on that and work with players so let's say we want to kill a player you know some servers have slash kill so you could do like slash kill and then space the player's name as an argument and um, yeah so we're going to work with getting players names and then affecting the players like that so yeah we know how to get the player the sender you know the person who sent the command but we want to get who the arguments you know stuff like that with players so i'll show you what i mean so we're going to make a whole new command here so we're going to uh make a new class we'll call it kill like we wanted to do last episode and then we're going to give it oops implements command execute what the hell I keep doing that <laughs> executor good and then public will need an all command great 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 return false accidentally got rid of that Oh crap, I need that there. Okay, cool. So what this will do is we want to kill the player, right? So right off the bat, we'll check and see if a player runs this command. So if um, sender instance of player, right? Simple. Good. Okay. So within that, we'll do, um, hmm. We'll check and see if um, we don't want it to be just slash kill. Actually, no, we'll do... If it's just slash kill by itself with no arguments, then it'll just kill the person who sent the command. Um, yeah, so that sounds good. So we'll do if... Actually, slash kill is already a command within within uh, vanilla Minecraft, I believe. But yeah, this should still work, you know. Um, so we'll, sp we'll make it custom by saving a message every time you kill a player. So what we'll do is say... Um, we'll say if args uh, dot length is equal to zero... Then we'll say, um, oh yeah, we need to make a player, cast the player, you know, player, player equals player, sender, right? So we'll do player dot send message, oops, nope, that's not English. Player dot send message, um, you have just killed yourself. Then we'll do player dot set health. To zero. Okay, good. So that kills the player and says that message right there whenever they don't provide an argument. So let's say they do provide an argument. We want to get the player that they're trying to, you know, affect. So what we'll do for that is we got to make a new player. So we'll do player and then we'll we'll call it. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, obviously, but we'll call it target because this will be the target player that you're affecting, right? And we'll say we got to do equals and then bucket. This is a special method here you have to remember, or you can type it down and save it if you want to in a notepad or something. Bucket.get player exact. So this will get the player's exact um, whatever. So we got to provide the name here. So args zero. Right there. So what this will do is create a new player instance or object, I believe. And then um, it's going to use the special bucket method here, and it's going to take the first argument that you provided in your uh, your kill command, and yeah, it's going to set it to target, okay? So what you want to do is, so let's say that we do slash kill, and then the player's name, and then it's not even a player, like it, the player doesn't exist on the server, then obviously we want to check for that. We don't want that to go wrong, right? So we'll do if target instance of player. Just like we did up here. So if the player is a player, then um, we're good to go. If not a player, then uh, let's do player dot send message. You need to t uh, kill a real player. Oh, let's say no. Let's do more something more specific. That player does not exist. There we go. So if he does exist in here, we'll say uh, target dot send message you just got killed son and then target dot set health zero and then we'll do player dot send message back to the you know the sender you just oops you just killed a man named hopefully he's a man because that would be sexist without it I don't even know what I'm saying, but anyway, so player, no, we do target, so we just, we want the, you know, the target's name that he just killed, so target will do target, got, get display name, there we go. So, that's a lot of code, but let's go through it one more time before we send it off and see if it works. So, 
what we're doing is we have a kill command here obviously and then we're checking to see if the person who sent the command is a player which is good so if that works out good if it doesn't work out then we didn't actually specify anything to happen but um that's fine but okay so if he's a player then we check and see if the command that is sending has any arguments if it doesn't have any arguments then it'll just the player will kill himself and it'll send this message and all that and if the player um, does provide arguments a argument um, at least um, it's going to check and see what the first argument is and it's going to set it to a new player called target so that player will be the the person that you want to kill right so it's going to check and see if that player that you're trying to target is a actually a player if he is a player then you'll kill him and then do all that crap but if he's not an actual player then it'll say that player does not exist okay so hopefully that's a little not confusing so let's test it out and see if it worked so uh, go ahead and run this here and i'll meet you inside the server okay so we're inside the server now and we're going to check out our command, see if it works. So we'll do the first one where we don't provide any arguments, and we'll see if that worked out. So let's do a slash key. Oh, it worked. I uh, didn't expect that to happen. I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, it worked out. It killed me, and it sent that message. Killed Illum. Nope. Actually did not. That's weird. It must have conflicted with the vanilla Minecraft version of the slash kill. But anyway, let's provide a command and see if that doesn't work out. Uh, let's do a slash kill. Oh, wait. No, the problem probably is we didn't register our new command. That's probably why. So let's go into here. Get command. Kill. Dot set executor. New kill. There we go. And we got to register it here too, of course. Kill description. Die. There we go. I'll be inside the server. So we're back. Let's try it out. Slash kill. And yeah, it says you have just killed yourself. So yeah, it works. Good. This time it works. So now let's do slash kill, and then let's provide uh, a player that does not exist, and we'll see if that works. And good, it says that player does not exist. So let's provide our own name since no one else is on the server. And then yeah, it says you just killed a man named Illuminati. So that whole thing freaking works. That is amazing. And hopefully that feels good that you completed this if you did it with me. And yeah, so if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more. Oh, wait, no, if you liked it, <laughs> like the video if you want to see more subscribe um if you want to join the description i mean join the discord it's in the description and then uh, leave a comment if you need any help or join the discord of course and peace